You are listening to the Get Global Network podcast of the Ask Avani Show. You can hear the show live on Saturdays at 3 p.m. in London, 9 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. on SoMetro Radio, one of the original member stations of the Get Global Network. Good afternoon and welcome. This is the Ask Avani Show. You're listening to Sound Metro Well Radio. Hello, people, and welcome to today's show. It's Saturday afternoon, UK time. It's just gone past the hour of 3 p.m. Ah, oh, yes, people. The crazy girl, that UK chick, is back again for another installment of another show. I think you guys are going to enjoy today's show because I have. Have a lot of fun putting it together. I want to say a good afternoon and good morning to Kay Rose. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, America, (laughs) good evening, UK. It's Kay Rose. (laughs) It's all going on, people. Yes, this week's show, I know you guys are wondering what we're going to talk about today. Well, I thought I would interject something cute and fun because I know that people, most of us have all grown up with parents and we've had a lot of interesting experiences and situations with our parents. <laughs> so today's show topic is what does society think about the parenting techniques of different cultures? Are there stereotypes or are some things true? And have you ever been scared to tell your parents something? Mm, now that's something to think about. <laughs> oh my God. So come on, k you've got some stories for us, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I was a model child so uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I just have one story that i will tell somewhat into the <laughs> <laughs> i just have, well I, I mean there are a couple but you know i'll leave that for that i mean the only thing i can rem- not the only thing i take that back but uh-huh. one thing that yeah. i did when i was younger i had the opportunity to um drive in my mother's car and it was only <laughs> maybe you know I was out, out of high school at this point so I was maybe 20 something like that but I was at home um summertime type thing right and which everybody wants to go driving right and well I was have... out hanging out with friends okay and you guys have driver's ed right too we well, don't yeah. have oh yeah we have driver's ed and so it wasn't a it wasn't so much the driving I was in my mother's automobile and right. Just having fun, hanging out with friends, playing dominoes, blah, blah. It, you know, it gets to be early, early in the morning. I'm only five minutes from where I live at that point. You know, my friends okay. lived around the corner. So, but I am parked behind one of my friends who has to go to work in the middle of the night at a convenience store. Mm-hmm. And so I'm parked behind him. So I have to move my vehicle, my mother's car. I have to back it up so that he mm-hmm. can get out and mm-hmm. go to work. So I... At that point, I had been having a lot of fun that evening. <laughs> and I, oh, okay. And so, we my, have been having a lot of fun. What's that mean? Well, my Don't mental state, so I wasn't as clear as I could have been. Let me put it that way. <laughs> and so I wasn't as clear. And it, it was early in the morning. And let's blame it on being early in the morning. And I was playing uh, dominoes too uh, much. But anyway, good. I back out the vehicle. And uh, immediately across the street from this person's place is a, a ditch in a driveway. Well, I missed the driveway and I backed into the ditch. Oh, uh-oh. And my friend, <laughs> he pulls out and he jets off down the street. This was before cell phones, people. Oh, dear. So my mother's <laughs> car was <laughs> my mother's car was in a ditch across the street from my friend's house and the house was empty and he was gone. <laughs> okay? And it's four in the morning. Okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the old gentleman who lived across the street, he happened to be coming home He sees the car, and he's like, oh, I can get you out of there. So he hooks a chain up to my mother's front bumper. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Oh, I know this is going to end badly. (laughs) It wasn't as bad, but he hooks the chain up. He yanks my mother's car forward so that I can get out. It pulls me, and I'm out. But then Uh, I notice my mother's bumper is sitting forward about three inches. And I, I, and I never said anything about it. You it, said you didn't know it. I just drove the car home, parked it, uh-huh. and my mother went weeks before she even noticed it. And uh-huh. so she thought it, I, you know, maybe she thought something happened. Or so, I don't know what, but I never claimed acceptance to that. <laughs> well, see, now nah, you just undid it because if she listened to this today. Well, that or any of my friends or my relatives, you know, this is a story that 
this is about 30 something years in the making so um people live on it so but i wanted to get that one out of the way that was my little confessional for the day but yes there are things that happen that the parents don't know about that you don't tell them about let me put it that way or or you just deny 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 okay Sometimes they don't believe you because I remember times when I was with my foster parents and I'd come back after being out with my, as you call them, foster cousins and 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 they'd been up to all sorts. I was, I told you people already, I have my own mind. I don't do things like that. So they tried to get me to do things that I didn't want to do, but because obviously by association, when she can tell that they've been up to something, she's expecting me to have been doing it too. But I already told her no. But obviously I was there, so. I was there. I didn't do it, but I was there. So she just assumed, well, hold on, if they were doing it and you were there, how come you didn't do it? Because, you know, people don't believe that, you know, teenagers got a mind of their own, especially if they're in a so-called group. So there was those type of things. Like, they'd been smoking. I wasn't smoking. I don't smoke. I didn't like smoking sort of thing. And I just wouldn't do it. And they were trying to bug me. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But obviously, we all came back smelling the smoke. And back in those days, you weren't allowed to smoke um, on the... On the uh, well, no, actually, no. The, you could smoke on the buses. I get. Let me let me get it right. You could smoke on the buses, but only upstairs. So if and they didn't. She didn't like us to go upstairs because she didn't. She thought that all sorts of things would happen, you know. And obviously, we our children, t- teenagers, we don't want to sit downstairs, do we? So we always used to go straight upstairs when we, whenever we went on the bus to travel anywhere. So that's where all the smoking used to take place. So even if you wasn't smoking, or or you were still get it on your clothes isn't it because smoke always attaches to your clothes but she didn't believe me and I, and I was getting into trouble thinking hold on but I'm telling you the truth but she didn't believe me but then I had to lie because remember we weren't supposed to be upstairs so I lied and I said no we were downstairs so that kind of got me into trouble because she well, see, you, your story man your story story was suspect from the beginning I mean you <laughs> because well, we obviously she knew you I told you not to go upstairs and you did it exactly. so you lied Right upstairs. But the truth was, I tell you, I didn't smoke. I wasn't smoking. I swear. Well, but no, we. I believe you. But your story was out. You had to man, You should have come up with I was sitting beside a lot of people story. You know? Yeah, no, but she's still ain't gonna have that because remember, she knows I was with them, and then I lied and, and I put my foot in. I said, oh, we were sitting downstairs, which I thought, oh, you should. Have well, I can't be sitting downstairs and smoking, so I blew that part of it. Okay. So. <laughs> so that's why I blew it. But I, I swear, I wasn't smoking, and that was the most important thing i wasn't smoking but the rest of it i kind of messed it up so she just said are you lying and that was it so you know when you're trying to get yourself out of trouble sometimes the gift of the gab doesn't quite get you where you would like to be you kind of sort of mess it up shuffling along the way well when you're <sighs> trying you. to get yourself out of trouble is it really a gift of gab or does it just dig your hole deeper usually it is <laughs> because if you put yourself in you're supposed to be able to talk yourself out right the gift of the gab is supposed to help you either way. <laughs> That's the misconception. I'm sorry. When I was in trouble, talking, I found, gets you in deeper trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but, and if you don't talk, right, you're going to be in more trouble because they'll be like, okay, what are you trying to hide? You're supposed to talk to me, and I, you ain't saying nothing, so I know you've been up to something you shouldn't be doing. So either way, you can't win, in it? <laughs> yeah, but, but didn't you learn when you're older? Don't you learn little tidbits of information on how to approach the situations and then you 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 think through them and you talk differently you know that okay if i'm talking this way to my mother and i'm nervous she'll know that i'm nervous so you calm it down a little bit because they should think you're lying anyway (laughs) what you trying to do you can this is what I mean. So it's like, okay, you, listen, we was going, as we're going home, we're trying to think, okay, what are we going to say? And everybody decide, said they were going to stick to something, but then when you get cornered, yep. <laughs> sometimes you get cornered like a little lamb, you have to think, oh, I'm going to have to deviate from what we agreed because it, it ain't going to fly. <laughs> well, somebody's going to break. You got, you always got a weak link in the chain. <laughs> So, people, that's what today's show topic is about, because I tell you, we got some silly, oh my God, seriously funny videos, articles, stuff that I found, and I thought, oh my God, this first one, um, oh God, Caro, seriously, link one. Uh, this is one of the two that maybe you want to do today's show. You know, there's always one thing that triggers me, and I think, yeah, we're going to do a show on it. Because I saw this I saw this video online. People, again, I'm going to apologize in advance because, yes, the way this woman is swearing, it's a Jamaican woman. She's swearing at her children. She's upset with them because her daughter was buying the famous red bottom shoes, as everybody knows. Okay, now, I don't know what those are, so you need to tell you know, me. Oh, the Christian Louboutin. Oh, 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 you mean the... the red bottoms for women 
Yes. Oh, those are the expensive shoes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, very, very expensive. So her mother was going mad, <laughs> basically, because she was like, how are you going to spend all this money on designer shoes? But let's just say she didn't say it in that accent because she's Jamaican, so she was cussing them out. <laughs> Did you? I sent you this video, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Did you watch it? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm okay now. Yes. <laughs> She was going crazy. She was like, how you got so much shoes in here? She was like, you see how much shoes you have in here with all the temp on it? I have to take it to Jamaica. And, you know, like, she, she was she was going mad. Oh, she, every other word. And she was, you know when someone's so angry that they forget the word that they want to use? <laughs> she was like, what is that? that irritable. <laughs> she goes, I can't even speak. She goes, I'm so annoyed, you know. She was like, oh, my God. She told them that she wants them to get some red material and bring it so that she and and not even correct not super glue as we call it over here she said crazy glue so i'm assuming maybe crazy glue is even stronger than super glue right she goes get the crazy glue get the red material let me let me stick it onto the bottom of some shoes and there you go that's red bottom shoes why are you spending so much money oh my god we are posting people because i saw that and i had to watch it a few times because i was just dying i just thought she was hilarious and she, <laughs> she was just and even her kids were laughing. And she's going, I'm not joking in here. You have to pay some money. Pay your rent. Pay your rent. That's what you kept hearing her say. <laughs> You're not going to give me some money there a month's end. You're going to give me money. I want money from you. And you don't keep on giving, going out and spending money on red bottom shoes. Me can't wear red bottom shoes. I have to wear black bottom shoes. Because I can't afford to wear red bottom shoes. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> well, see, I have to actually agree with her. Um, you know, because, you know, if you got enough money to pay for some expensive shoes, <laughs> hey, maybe you do need to be paying rent. I'm sorry. Yeah, she said to them, one month in, pay rent, you're all going to give me money in here. <laughs> She's telling them they can't even walk on the same side of the road as the designer who designed the shoes. She goes, you can't even go up to his neighborhood, much less walk on the same side of the road as his house. So she goes, why are you giving him money? You don't even know him. <laughs> Well, but that is, but that's the the logic of being a parent. You know, when you're a parent, you wonder, well, why did you go over and buy that piece of candy that was two dollars? And it's like a you know a quarter size. Well, everybody buys it. Everybody likes it. But that's the thing that when you're a parent, you start thinking too logically. Oh my god, she just nearly. Oh my god, it was so funny. I just thought to myself, why she was just going mental. I think she'd had enough because she goes, "You see how much clothes you have in here." We've all the tag on it, yeah, they've even worn it. I just thought, oh, my God, they're going to get cut out today and they need to just be quiet and don't say too much because if, 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 if she sees that they're thinking it's too much of a joke, she might ever start beating them. <laughs> well, that's the other part of it. If you're, if, And I'm a parent, so if, if I'm having a little thing with one of my sons and I'm mad about something <laughs> and if I see a snicker Uh-oh. or a smile, oh, that it's just sets you off more. <laughs> laughing and saying how come it's not just me because i've got two daughters so this the other girl was saying it's not just me she does it too she said both of you you're both gonna give me money (laughs) (laughs) then you start ratting out your friends and your family your sisters and brothers everything falls apart you're gonna take the rap alone people you don't (laughs) want to take the rap on your own because it's like okay uh uh-uh i ain't in this on my own i ain't going down alone (laughs) okay well would you do that when when you were cornered would you like you know rat out (laughs) your friend I tried not to do that, but sometimes you, you ain't really, because they know you was with them, you see, because remember, when you go out, they know who you've gone out with, so they know that whatever you did must have involved so-and-so, because especially when you got, like, a person that you hang around with a lot, because I had a couple of people, just one or two that I hang around with a lot, so if I go out, <laughs> she knows I've gone out to meet so-and-so, so if anything happens, she's thinking, well, I know she was in such-and-such when she left there, so them two must have got into this excitement together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So she can't really tell me that she wasn't with her now because that's backtracking. And then what, you're going to lie more and say you wasn't when I know you told me you left the house specifically to go and meet her or him or whoever it was. <laughs> so you better, you better think twice. If you well, for, well, how did you think? <laughs> what were your thoughts about that when your parent was asking you those questions? What, did, what were you thinking when they were asking you that? Was it more of a let me get out of this fear thing? Or were you like, oh, man, I messed okay. up? What was your thought process? But now, in the beginning, if I know I'm 
telling the truth, I'm sticking to my guns and you ain't going to deviate me off that course because I'm not going to say nothing to get myself into extra trouble. I'm thinking, no, I'm going to hold my hands up to whatever and I'm just in, and if something happened, I think, you know what, just tell the truth and let's be having it. Let's just be done with it. But if you realise that, oh no, somebody else has done something and you're maybe trying to cover up for them, you have to tread <laughs> carefully with that one because especially if you wasn't exactly aware of the exact 